You got to speak into the mic, Joe. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay, great. Say when, Joe. When. Hi, all, and thank you for uh, being here tonight. And we're going to look at what an idiosyncratic guide life in the bushes is like. Um, well, that's what those guys over there says about me anyway. Um, idiosyncrasy, an unusual way in which a particular person behaves or thinks, and I think that's probably because I say a lot of uh, happy trails and things like that. Um, I came here, traveled 1,600 miles from Texas in July 2010, and I was scared. Uh, I cried, and uh, I laughed a lot. My friends made some CDs for me to listen to, and it helped because I've never traveled that far alone. And it's kind of dangerous. Um, I finally got here, reunited with my son Dylan, and our pets, he's older now, he attends MCLA, he's a fireman at Williamstown, and he's a member of the Williamstown Affordable Housing Committee, and uh, we lived on the Mohawk Trail. Um, Williamstown uh, became our new home, and uh, also headquarters for BerkshireStrails.com. It's an online homage to my dog who passed away, and it continues because the adventure here continues for me. Uh, I've had a lot of first here, first concert kissed, and it was just a peck, but you know, it's like the one that you would give your Nana. Um, so Berkshire's Trails, um, Captain Kurt had his captain's log, I have this website, and you'll find me on Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, and YouTube saying yeehaw, Berkelicious, and happy trails. We have fans in Texas and all over the world, Stephen Weber from Wings even tweeted with us. Uh, in two years, I've taken over 52,000 images. I killed my camera, finally. And um, I have basically uh, been on a lot of trails, food trails, art trails, beer trails. I engage my senses as often as possible, and um, I hope you'll do the same after this. Of course, that's easier said than done. Um, I have a library card, which has gotten me into a lot of places, like the Berkshire Museum, the Clark, Mass Mocha, um, the Hancock Shaker Village. Um, armed with a library card and good shoes, a battery charger, and lots of enthusiasm, I've checked off a couple things on my list. Uh, and um, if they weren't on my bucket list, I put it on and I check it off. That's me doing our first TV show uh, and then talking about how nice it is to live in the Berkshires. And I killed some shoes. And, um, you know, being out of your comfort zone, like tonight, this is hard, but um, out of my element, I keep continuing my adventure here and try to make as many happy trails as possible. I set off to go to my first music festival, probably you guys when you were young, that was what you did. I missed all that stuff. So I went to Wilco Solid Sound and Mass Mocha. Um, it wasn't, I volunteered. Um, I surprised myself because I was hip deep in mud in the rain and enjoying it. Um, I met a couple families who came back the following uh, festival and they remembered me. I greeted over 5,000 visitors personally. This is uh, Josh Billing Race. My first time I ever volunteered was a, I was a water girl and I've spent a couple of years volunteering as a triathlete assistant. I'm thinking about doing the Josh this year. Um, it's inspired me to start running. I haven't run in three decades. And I couldn't resist because they were raising money for a homeless shelter. And uh, so I ran my first race uh, this past year. And that lady on the left there, she's um, 76 years old. And she let me win. <laughs> she was right behind me. I know she let me. Anyways, um, you know, you get hungry when you go out on all these trails. So I uh, decided I'd like to learn what it was like to eat things out of the woods. So I went on a foraging expedition. And uh, when I'm not in the woods trying to find something to eat, I'm at a bakery. Um, I, uh, I enjoy sweet stuff. Um, I was driving through Williamstown on Loose Road, and I found this uh, farm stand. Uh, I was glad to see that the honor system is alive and well here. Kind of weird, but it is. Uh, you pick out your produce, you drop your money, and you leave. There's nobody there. So that was kind of an interesting experience, and it was my first. Um, I've had a lot of firsts here. Um, the farmer's market here in Pittsfield has been really great. Um, I'm looking forward for that 
coming back. It's a, a great way to interact with your uh, fellow community members, and it's a great educational place for kids. They prep food on site, and that's a Berkelicious way to uh, learn about food. If you eat a lot, you got to work it off. So there's a couple trails in town that I go on, and uh, I like the educational components and also the meditative components of going out on a hike. Um, I have probably logged, oh, a few thousand miles uh, on bike, uh, running, walking. I skied for the first time ever in Bosque. Uh, I'm from California and Texas, so um, that's not something I got to do as a kid. I didn't break anything, but um, I did go to a uh, tree farm and cut my first Christmas tree down. And uh, the following year, we went on an all girls tree hunt adventure. And my friend cut her first Christmas tree. She's Jewish, she doesn't celebrate Christmas, but she did this year. Um, when it comes to just exploring, I would encourage everybody to just go out there and, um, you know, have a lot of firsts. That's what life is all about, um, exploring, learning, making mistakes, and growing. Uh, engaging all your senses and getting out of your comfort zone. I've done a lot of that, like tonight. Um, I have experienced much life in a short time here, so I'll leave you all with this wish. May you have the courage to mark your own trail and enough faith to know that you have strength to overcome obstacles that block your way, and happy trails. Thank you, Joe.